And in other news tonight, in a race that continues to heat up, Senate candidate Scott Brown is taking heat for an unlikely reason. Yeah, he's not currently in the Senate right now, but he is accused of using his contacts in Washington to, to derail a major bill that was sponsored by his would-be opponent come November, Gene Shaheen. It was an energy reform proposal with what appeared to be bipartisan support. So the deadlock demise of the so-called Shaheen Portman bill is a tough pill to swallow for New Hampshire's incumbent senator. Disappointing that it went down over politics. Politics because some accuse Shaheen's opponent, former Senator Scott Brown, of derailing the bill with some behind-the-scenes lobbying to keep her from getting a political victory in an election year. I think it's what people don't like about Washington. People want us to work together to get things done. Um, this is a bill that would have helped create almost 200,000 jobs. And just to hear some of the stories I've heard throughout, sure, come on up if you want. That's fine. In Manchester, during a Women for Scott Brown campaign event, the Republican laughed off the accusation. They're blaming me, apparently, I, while I'm driving around my truck in New Hampshire. I apparently derailed a bill. In Washington, I have this amazing power, I guess. Did you actively advocate against the passage of G. Shaheen's energy bill? No, I, I didn't. And I find it actually sad that uh, in Washington, when there are failures, they look outside uh, themselves and try to blame other people for this. In what looks to be an increasingly contentious race, it is just the latest salvo. But the question is, which one could wind up making a difference? We don't know is what specifically they'll be talking about this fall when they're competing. And sort of the argument right now is they're fighting about what they're going to be fighting about later on. Well, as for the bill at the center of this controversy, Senator Shaheen says she'll continue to push for the passage of legislation that she believes is critical to our energy future. Brown, meanwhile, says the Senate needs to move forward with a straight up or down vote on the Keystone Pipeline project.